Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing and today I'm just going to be talking about 3D printing. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so like I just said was I'm going to be talking about 3D printing with you today. Um, I'm basically being, going to be talking about 8 things that you need to know or need to do when you're 3D printing. So, let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing is I want you guys to know if you start 3D printing to study and do your research. So basically what that means is before you go out and buy a 3D printer, make sure you know what you're doing, which 3D printer to buy, which is the best price, um, for the machine that you're buying. Um, there's lots of 3D printers out there. Like you guys know, I uh, kind of work with TiVo and they have some great printers, uh, but sometimes their price can be a little higher for what you're actually getting. Um, the TiVo Flash is probably one of the uh, printers I recommend for a first printer, but there is also the Ender 3, which is a great printer. And then if you want to go with big printer, you can get a CR10 or a TiVo Tornado like I have. Um, but there's a lot of 3D printers out there, so make sure you know what you're doing and um, which printer you should get. So the second thing you want to do when you get your 3D printer is get your slicer and get your settings correct. So usually um, some printers come with PLA or uh, filament, um, but if they don't, make sure you do buy some of that and make sure you know what kind of filament you need. Most printers, all printers, do PLA, um, so like I'm not sure your printer can be a 3 millimeter printer or a 1.75 millimeter printer for that's for the filament um, so make sure you know the settings for that and then just dial your settings in do lots of experimenting which is number three experimenting with all your settings um, just to make sure you can get the best quality out of your printer and out of your filament so you know what you're doing and how to get a great final product so also experimenting is experimenting with different filaments so once you get to know your 3D printer, to um, figure out actually how to use your 3D printer, you can test out some new filaments. Like you guys know, I've tested out nylon, flexible filament, um, wood filaments, ABS, hips filaments, PETG. There's a whole bunch of filaments. There's belt. I don't know, maybe 36 filaments out there. There's so many filaments that you can test out on your printer, but you have to know if your printer is compatible with that. There's lots of information online about printers that are compatible and aren't compatible if they have a heated bed or if they don't, if they have a Titan extruder or if they have a Bowden extruder or a direct extruder. There's lots of different things to experiment on your 3D printer, and it's definitely super fun to do that. Number four is to have fun with your 3D printer. Yes, 3D printers can become very, very frustrating. Trust me, I know, especially starting out with a DIY printer, they can become very frustrating. But definitely just have fun, experiment again, um, see what you can do, push the limits of your printer, test your printer with different um, benches or different torture tests, print a huge print your entire build space. Just have fun with your 3D printers. That's what they're here for. The world is endless in 3D printing. You can print anything you want, no matter what kind of printer you have. You just have to make sure you have the right settings and the right filament and the right temperatures and everything like that. But just have fun with your 3D printer. Number five is never give up. Like I mentioned, I have gone through lots of frustration with my 3D printer. So what I recommend if you get a first 3D printer, if you really want to get to know your 3D printer, uh, a 3D printer to buy is a DIY kit. And now that's what my dad bought me after I purchased my Z Pro Zim that never worked. Um, he bought me the TiVo Tarantula, which is a DIY kit. And after building that with him, I learned a lot of knowledge about what a stepper motor is, um, what a Bowden tube is, what a nozzle is, um, how it works, how the whole thing works, what cooling fans you need, what the heated bed is, um, just all that. So a DIY kit is very, very useful in the beginning of 3D printing. Even if you want to just buy a 3D printer, get to know that, and then get to know more about 3D printing and the electronics, you can buy a DIY kit which those are super cheap because you have to build them, um, but they're also super fun to build, but they do get frustrating, but never give up. Because if you give up, then you'll get nowhere. And I've had so much hard time with building this TiVo Tarantula and getting it to work because it would always break down, but I never gave up, and this is where I am now. And if you give up, you just won't get anywhere. But if you keep pushing and keep trying, you will get somewhere and maybe end up one day like this, 
uh, making YouTube videos for other people, teaching them your journey through 3D printing and get a lot more 3D printers. Number six, I say, is find something really cool to print. So if you guys don't know Joel over at uh, the 3D Printing Nerd, he prints large, large prints. So he takes a popular print and scales it up and prints that. So um, definitely find something really cool to print uh, like I do is... I make my bionic hands for people. Just find something that encourages you to 3D print and to just keep 3D printing. And it could be anything. It could be giant benches. It could be miniature things. You could print tiny things. You can print puzzles, um, just really cool pictures like lithophanes. You can print all the popular things on Thingiverse or um, 3D hubs or all those different uh, websites on the internet just find something really cool to 3d print and definitely have fun with it what i think number seven is is find something useful to print so there are a lot of things out there that people have designed um that are very useful prints in a house um or in a car or whatever you guys know i printed my own um and designed my own hooks for my for my office here um, for like my backpack, my tripod, my jacket, um, all bunch of different things. Also, all of these um, brackets up here for my pegboard are all um, designed and they're all very useful. For printing useful things are really awesome because you get to use them, you know you'll use them, um, and they're just really cool because you made them. They're, for example, I printed a big box thing that had all these different um, spots and specific size spots for things in my bathroom or a soap holder or anything, anything useful. Printing useful things is really great because you know you will use them and you know you made them or you designed them. So finally, number eight, tell people what you're doing. So you guys know I've been telling a lot of people I've been printing these bionic hands and getting everybody to know about this is really cool because you get lots of support. So if you tell people you're doing this really cool thing um, about 3D printing, they will definitely, most likely, be into that. So there are lots of groups online, um, mostly on Facebook, of groups for 3D printers. So there's groups for all of these 3D printers back here. Um, the TiVo Flash group, the TiVo Michelangelo group, the TiVo Tornado and TiVo Tarantula group. Um, just tell people what you're doing. Show them your prints. Send pictures to them. Tell them what your status is in 3D printing. Is your printer working? Is it broken? Do you need help? So that's also one thing that all those groups are good for. So definitely find a group if they do have one about your 3D printer so you can talk to all these people in this um, community about 3D printing and if they can help you or all that kind of stuff. There's definitely a lot of people in this community and they will definitely 100% help you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little um, eight tips kind of thing on 3D printing. I uh, really wanted to let you guys know, basically 3D printing is not hard. Um, you just have to put your mind to it and keep going. It is. It gets frustrating sometimes, but it also is super fun and it's really cool just to watch something from a computer and just boom, it's right there in your hands. It's you made it, you printed it. You might have not designed it or you might have designed it, but it's right there and you made it instead of having to go out to the store and buying it, which is really awesome. And that is why I love 3D printing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe. We're growing this channel super fast and I'm super excited to have each and every one of you here. And if you are here at the end of this video, I really, really thank you for doing that. Um, don't forget, if you guys are interested in any uh, 3D printer from TiVo, there is an affiliate link down below. Definitely check that out and use that if you are going to buy one of these awesome 3D printers. Again, I definitely do 100% recommend this TiVo Flash for one of your first 3D printers. It is a great printer. It, um, you can get it as a DIY kit, 50% built, or as 98% built, which is um, basically just putting the top and bottom together and a couple screws. But definitely go check that link out, and I really hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely keep 3D printing and having fun in this awesome world. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.